The Maxim Pat Pad is an invaluable tool for the patching, programming and control of moving lights. Patched fixtures are selected using the numbers on the yellow bank. The yellow faders are used for fixture intensity. You can automatically load the fixtures that are currently faded up on stage. The six parameter displayers are used to control the fixture. Each displayer can control up to four parameters. Tapping a parameter name shows its current value and gives you control by either mousing or tapping. The way each parameter is controlled is defined by its fixture template. Tapping a parameter value also gives you control by using the wheel. Pressing and holding a parameter value shows its time values. These times will be saved when you store or record a scene and are used when that scene is played back. Tapping a parameter button returns its displayer to name. You can step through the loaded fixtures or go directly to any fixture. A powerful feature is the ability for you to choose which parameters will be included in pat pad operations. There is one simple rule. If the parameter is flashing, then it will be included. When fixtures are loaded onto the pat pad, all of their parameters are flashing. Filters are used to select parameters. They can be selected individually or they can be selected by groups of focus, beam or colour. All altered parameters can be automatically filtered. You can even save and recall your own filter selections. Highlights are used to select entire fixtures. To exclude a fixture, clear its highlight. With filters and highlights, it is easy to see which parameters will be included because they are flashing. You can control a single fixture, or if all mode is active, all highlighted fixtures of the currently selected type can be controlled simultaneously. Groups of fixtures can be stored, named and recalled. Groups allow rapid loading and highlighting of multiple fixtures. Fixtures can be quickly sent to a known home position. Cloning copies flashing parameters of the currently selected fixture to another fixture or group of fixtures. This permits fast duplication of looks onto multiple fixtures. Presets and palettes are a powerful programming tool. They contain filtered parameter information that can be stored or recalled from the pat pad and can also be automatically recalled by any scene that is linked to them. Therefore, editing a single preset or palette will automatically update all linked scenes, often saving hours of programming time. There are two ways of programming scenes into memory, store and record. Record saves the entire output of the maxim. What you see on stage will be saved. Store is best used to create building block scenes for the ad-lib style of show because it only saves flashing parameters. To store a scene, press Store, Scene Number. Store plus Level also saves flashing parameters but includes all intensity levels. The pat pad can be cleared by pressing Clear, All. Scenes can be played back from the red bank in scene mode or from the blue bank at any time. Fixture parameters are played back on a latest takes precedence basis. When a scene fader is raised above zero, the parameters in that scene are triggered and go to their settings in that scene in their stored time. 
you only have to fully fade up a scene if it contains intensity levels. Pressing a scene's flash button momentarily plays back that scene. Fixtures can be padlocked to prevent them from being affected by playback. If a chase has been recorded and the steps contain only focus parameters, then you can vary the look of the chase whilst it is being played back by fading up different colour or gobo scenes or by pressing their flash buttons. The speed of the chase and its crossfade time are easily controlled. The fan menu saves you programming time by allowing you to simply fan the pan. It can be from the midpoint or either end. You can also fan the tilt from the midpoint or either end. You can even fan the times to quickly create stunning effects. The effects menu automatically creates movement effects in a variety of predefined and user programmable shapes that would take hours to program manually. There are a multitude of options that you can vary to give an almost infinite number of variations. These effects can be saved either as a standalone effect that can be instantly applied to the current stage look, or they can be included as a part of a scene. 